Okay, white supremacist violence is and always has been the number one threat to our society. But I'm also very proud that my wife is white. My wife is white. Yeah, <sighs> the, the Breakfast Club, bitches. All right, Charlene, please tell me, why was I your donkey of the day? Well, donkey of the day for Thursday, April 7th. Make sure that's today. It is Thursday, April 7th. Yes, it is. Uh, goes to Ohio Senate candidate J.D. Vance. Uh, let me tell you something. I'm giving J.D. Vance donkey of the day simply because I'm black. All right. And as a black man, I have to stand against racism. OK, I also have to stand against xenophobia. All right. What did Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. say? An injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Yes, I totally agree with that. That's how I feel morally. But marketing wise, I think what J.D. Vance did is incredible. OK, it's bold. It's honest and it's provocative. It gets the people going. All right. Seriously, when I Googled J.D. Vance's name, it had been searched over 16 million times this morning. Right. This ad that he uh, created has caused the conversation. Mostly that conversation is saying how it's racist and xenophobic because it is. But do you think J.D. Vance cares? Hell no, because the more people who talk about his ad, the more people it reaches and the people he is talking to in the ad love it. OK, all he's trying to do is find more of his tribe. He's running for Senate in Ohio. But when something becomes a national story, then that means more people in Ohio will see it. And if they can answer the two questions he asked in the beginning of the ad with a resounding yes, even if they feel like that a little bit, then guess what? They found the human they want to vote for in J.D. Vance. Would you like to hear J.D. Vance's campaign ad so we can properly discuss? Well, here you go. Are you a racist? Do you hate Mexicans? The media calls us racist for wanting to build Trump's wall. They censor us, but it doesn't change the truth. Joe Biden's open border is killing Ohioans, with more illegal drugs and more Democrat voters pouring into this country. This issue is personal. I nearly lost my mother to the poison coming across our border. No child should grow up an orphan. I'm J.D. Vance, and I approve this message because whatever they call us, we will put America first. Jesus Christ. Democrats be scared to talk directly to their most loyal voting bloc, which is black women and black men. They can't even pretend. OK, they be afraid to talk directly to us and do talk directly about our issues because they don't want to scare off those hypothetical unwoke white swing voters. Meanwhile, the GOP on a state and national level is like, what's popping, cuz? You racist, we racist too. What's happening? OK, it is a part of me that respects this. I don't like pretenders, okay? I want everyone to be who they are. I personally think the world would be a much better place if we all just put what we believe on the table. That way, it's no mixing of energies that don't need to be together, okay? We waste so much time presenting ourselves as things we are not, and that's just not sustainable over time. Over time, the real you will reveal itself, good or bad, okay? The best or the worst of you will eventually reveal itself. Now, here's the thing about politicians, though reason this is dangerous is when you're a politician is because politicians are supposed to be servants of all people okay you got to be objective it shouldn't be about party race sexuality gender religious beliefs you're supposed to be here to serve all of us but we know that's not how this works so why would someone like jd vance be so open and honest about how he feels because he knows in ohio where his bread is buttered okay and the bread in ohio is white all right, really white, highly processed flour and lots of additives white. OK, J.D. is buttering the kind of white bread that can t that that uh, contributes to obesity, heart disease and diabetes when you eat too much of it. So he don't care about what anyone else is talking about. OK, 81.7 percent of people in Ohio are white. I don't know. OK, how many white people in Ohio are racist and hate Mexicans, though? OK. I, I, I don't I don't know. This isn't a generalization of all white people in Ohio, but I do know in the presidential elections of 2016 and 2020, Donald Trump won Ohio. OK, and J.D. Vance is just peeping game and saying to himself, oh, I know who and what I need to tap into to possibly get a victory here because J.D. Vance back in 2015 ain't even like Trump. You don't believe me? Listen to the attack ads against him that are running in Ohio. J.D. Vance, in his own words. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. As somebody who doesn't like Trump, I might have to hold my nose and vote for Hillary Clinton. I didn't vote for Trump because I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's noxious, him being really outrageous and offensive. On Twitter, Vance called Trump, quote, reprehensible, an idiot, and Vance loves Mitt Romney. I'm a never Trump guy. That's the real J.D. Vance. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this ad. Mm. Okay, that's how he felt. But then Trump did what nobody thought he could do, and that's when the, the presidential election in 2016, anyone Ohio 
uh, in 2016 and 2020, and I guess that's when J.D. Vance decided to go full great replacement theory and changed his, changed his mind. Listen to him talk about Trump now. Why should Trump voters, Trump supporters, vote for you? Yeah, look, I mean, all of us say stupid things, and I happen to say stupid things very publicly. Um, you know, I, I've been very public about the fact that I voted for the president in 2020, that I was wrong about the president uh, back in 2015, 2016, and that he's been the greatest president of my lifetime. You know, I was, I, was, I was just north of 30 years old when I said a lot of those things. A lot's changed in my life. Uh, I reengaged with my faith. I got baptized three years ago. I've had three kids since then. You know, a lot's different. And one of the things that's different is that I did change my mind about Donald Trump. He was a great president. Yes, we all say stupid things. I say stupid things, but dangerous things are different, especially dangerous things that come with positions of power. OK, J.D. Vance knows you don't have to be real in politics. Just say what people want to hear. Just because you believe something doesn't make it the truth, though. So you can believe what J.D. Vance is saying, but it's not really his truth. He just wants your votes. OK, you got to understand one of my favorite movies ever is Bullworth. All right. Starring Warren Beatty. Holly Berry, Don Cheadle. Okay, and Jay Bullworth was a man who got tired of lying to the American people. And since he had hired a hitman to kill him and thought he was going to die anyway, he just started telling the truth. And it worked. Only difference was, only difference was Bullworth spoke out against racism and had solutions for poverty. And he called out the dysfunction in the healthcare system. And he let folks know about the corporate control of the political agenda. He rebelled against all of that. Great movie. You should watch it, okay? Uh, I have been waiting for a liberal to speak truth to power in that way. But alas, that hasn't happened. But Republicans... Ah, they are. They just don't care about the least of us. Okay, so it makes you ask the question, does it take more courage to be good or bad? Does it take more courage to be right or wrong? I don't know. I just know one party Republicans are displaying political courage, even if it's just to get votes, while the other Democrats, while the other Democrats are showing no courage at all. Kathy Griffin, could you do the honors? Please give this giant jar of mail the biggest hee-haw. <laughs> Uh, Chelsea Handler, you want to get in on this uh, J.D. Vance thing? Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan Mayonnaise. I wonder if um, Chris Rock got anything to say. Cracker-ass cracker! Oh, okay. 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 Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.